At the elite level, the men's doubles is perhaps one of the most enthralling exhibitions of badminton at its most athletic. Witnessing four shuttlers exchanging blows with lightning reflexes and sublime footwork counts for a true sporting spectacle. Indonesia is home to some of the best in the business when it comes to this format of the game, with three pairs featuring in the top 20 of the BWF's world rankings. Southeast Asian Games champions Anga Pratama and Ricky Karandasawardi currently sit at number 10 and know all too well the ferocity of the competition around them. The rivalry is inevitable, especially when you're training here. We can be fiercely competitive, but not to the point of hurting each other, because after all, we're all friends. It's a healthy atmosphere. The training we do here can be combative, but at the end of the day, we're still a team. We keep the rivalry in the court, but once we step out of it, our friendships continue. The Badminton Unlimited cameras were in the country's capital, Jakarta, recently to find out about the pair's ambitions ahead. Ricky dons the colours of Bandung club Mutiara Cardinal, while partner Anga hails from Jaya Raya. And it was from their time there competing on the domestic circuit that they were able to impress national selectors. Anga was invited into the national setup in 2009, while Ricky got his nod the following year. It's a very proud moment. Even though I'm far from reaching the heights of my seniors Ahsan and Hendra, it's still a great honour to me. To be here means I can bring glory to Indonesia. And if we win, we have the satisfaction of singing our national anthem in another country, which isn't easy to achieve. Both Ricky and Anga began their national team tenure with different partners. It was only towards the end of 2014 that they were finally paired together. For those on the outside, the change may have seemed disruptive, especially with Anga enjoying considerable progress with previous partner Rian Agung Saputra. But he and Ricky both trusted in what was decided for them. It was down to the coach's decision. They're always looking for the best combinations. It doesn't mean we were performing badly. Switching partners is part of their strategy. The coaches know more than we do, and they're only doing what's best. For us, we're just happy to go with their decision to change partners. Of course, there's a big difference when I was playing with Barry, but now I feel more compatible with Anka. The scratch pairing didn't take long to justify this decision. Ricky and Anga followed up their runners-up finish at November's Macau Open with a big win at the OUE Singapore Open just five months later. Obviously, I was delighted, especially when you consider that we were only together for six months before and we could already win a title in Singapore. It's also a super serious win, so I'm just proud. I was also in disbelief we could win the Singapore Open because our partnership was just six months old. But with our hard work, thank God we were able to be champions. From the start, we just kept our focus one game at a time, but didn't think we'd win. The Lion City also turned out to be a happy hunting ground for the men. In June, they would go on to clinch a badminton gold at the regional tournament, the Sea Games, held at the same venue. Maybe Singapore is like my second home because we won at both the Singapore Open and the Sea Games, so maybe it really feels like a second home. The supporters also had a good number of Indonesians. It's the same for me. Perhaps it's really our second home because we were champions twice in a short space of time. The weather and the food there are not any different to here, so it feels like home.
However, that winning feeling seemed to desert them at the beginning of this year as they came off second best in three tournaments. The Indonesian duo also narrowly missed out on a spot at the Rio Olympics, but they're taking these setbacks on the chin as they plot their way to more success. This year we've been finishing runners-up in some of the tournaments we've played so far, from India, New Zealand, and the latest one at Australia. We know we've worked hard, but maybe our time hasn't arrived yet. I think for the future tournaments that we will compete in, we just need to work harder and continue to keep believing. Recently, we finished ninth in the Rio rankings, so hopefully I will be there at Tokyo 2020 with Ricky. Moving forward, we need to have more self-belief, keep learning and never give up, especially learning from our seniors like Asan and Hendra. Still only 24 and 25 years of age respectively, Ricky Karanda Suwardi and Anga Pratama feel confident their best years are just ahead of them. And that can only mean good news for Indonesian badminton fans.